What is going on boys, welcome back to another video and today's video we have got no mods, we've got no no cars in the video unfortunately, unfortunately I've got no car for the weekend. Now the reason for this is I've traded the Corsa in, now this is the reason I haven't made any videos, any mod videos or anything like that because what's the point in modding a car, what's going, you know what I mean? So basically, let me get one of these, we bought on a bath. Now, I'm so, so happy about this car. Um, I'll put a picture on screen now. I haven't got an actual picture to show you in person, like what I've taken, because the cars in Aberdeen, what I've bought, is getting transferred down to, obviously, Wigan. And honestly, guys, I'm so excited. Like, I'm so happy. Unfortunately, the course has gone. I spent a lot of money on that car. Like, I was talking to my mum and dad a couple of nights ago and I was like why do you want to sell it you've done so much to it you've spent so much money on it and to be fair it's one of them it's not fast enough it's not fast enough and to be honest I've not heard the best things about the engine in gearboxes on them cars now I don't know why the gearboxes or engines are not so good I'm not really bothered what people say anyway um, I've wanted an Abarth now and Abarth is actually one of my dream cars and to have that dream I know it's a lot of people can afford a bath insurances and stuff like that, but I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, I've not been able to afford insurance on a bath for three years since I've been driving, and I've finally been able to afford the insurance, so I was like, do I buy one, do I not? And uh, I went looking at one. Unfortunately, I didn't have any in the garage, so I look, I've been looking on the internet, and I found one. I've not seen the car yet. I have been told, though, if the car's battered or it's got massive scratches or the wheels are fropped on it, I don't need to take the car, uh, but the pictures look immaculate, I know you can make pictures look immaculate, but honestly it really does look immaculate and I can't wait to pick it up on Monday. I'll be doing a collection video, there's no, no doubt about that, I'll be doing a collection video I think. Um, it just all depends really on, because on Monday I'm going watching Fetty Wap, so um, it all depends, I might have to go to, to go and watch Fetty Wap straight from the garage after picking the car up. And, but either way, I'll be making some sort of video on that day anyway, so um, yeah. So basically, in 2016, when I had an Audi A1, I was out some traffic lights waiting for him to go green, and then, BAM! I got absolutely battered up the back end. That sounds wrong, but it's not in that way. I got absolutely battered up the back end, and I hit the car in front, and to be fair, the car was... It was never the same after it had been crashed, and to be honest... A lot of things went wrong with that car, and I just thought, sorry, <sighs> I just thought to myself, uh, do I get rid of it, because a lot of things are going wrong on it. Uh, to be honest, I got rid of it, and that's when I got the Corsa, and to be honest, the Corsa has been such a good car, like, I can't fault that car, it's been so good to me, there's nothing been up with it. Um, nothing up with it and to be fair I am going to miss the car because of the noise <laughs> the noise was absolutely immense but the above standard I've got a really really good exhaust I'm not going to lie um, but yeah getting back onto the insurance topic I bought the Corsa because the Corsa was cheapish on insurance and a little bit obviously bits went wrong on the Audi and I, I was looking into an, an above then I'm so sorry I was looking into an Abarth then, and the insurance was about three and a half, four grand, and I was like, oh, I can't pay that, that's a lot of money. So I waited out, I got the Corsa, waited out a little bit, and I was like, right. I've had the Corsa nearly two years, I look into the insurance of an Abarth, and I was like, right, it's actually pretty cheap, let's go and see what I can get for the car. Now, basically, I only got 5.2 for the car. So... Yeah, people might think, wow, really? It's a 17 plate, it's done 26,000 miles, the Corsa. Corsa's gone. I've got no car on the front, which is absolutely going. Because <laughs> I can't go anywhere today. Um, but yeah, we've got no car, unfortunately, until Monday. And I just thought, you know what, we'll try insuring a bath. And uh, we'll see what payments I can get it to. And I'm obviously not going to disclose the payments of what, what I'm going to be paying on this car. But... To be honest, I'm very, very happy because I own a bath. 
I own a bath, no black box on the insurance, because a lot of insurance companies wanted me to have a black box on that car. Nope, ain't having a black box on that car. Uh, to be to be quite honest, for my age and obviously with the, I have to put the crash on insurance even though it isn't my fault. It is actually quite cheap. It is actually really quite cheap. So uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm just over the moon. I've bought on a bath. I bought one of my dream cars at the age of 21. And to be honest, this car's staying. I did say that about the Corsa. I'm not going to lie. I did say that about the Corsa. But all right, I had a really bad change of heart about that car. I'm not I'm not too sure why. I had a really bad change of heart. And I don't know. See, I, I had a little bit of a change of heart. And to be honest, just the, the Corsa was not fast enough for me. And basically, I've just dropped the car off today at the garage. So they can keep hold of it and whatnot. And I have to wait till Monday to pick the bath up. But I've just drove at a bath because they ha actually had one in a white one. Um, 145 brake they are standard, 1.4 T jet. Uh, this is a Series Four. I was actually gonna go for a Series Three, but I seen the Series Four, and to be honest, the Series Four looks ten times better. You've ow. You've got a lot of things on the series four, series four that the series three hasn't got. You've got obviously, you've got an updated steering wheel. Um, I think the boost. You've got obviously got a standard boost gauge in there. I think the boost gauge has actually moved uh, since since series three. I'm not too sure. Um, obviously, the bumpers have changed. The headlights have changed. It does actually have uh, projectors in the headlights like the series three doesn't, unless it's a uh, competizione or, or a Turismo. Uh, but I just thought, do you know what, I'm going to go for this because there's little mods I can do on the... I'm not going to be modding it straight away, obviously I've bought the badges, what I've just shown you, I've bought the badges for the side of the car, uh, above the indicators. Um, and I've ordered some seatbelt covers, <laughs> that's that's all I've ordered, but obviously I'll make a video on it because it's, it's, it's a little bit of a mod at the end of the day, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to be buying... Buying a few things this car, but over a period of time, I'm not going to go straight out and go bang exhaust, bang this, bang that. One thing I'm not going to do is buy an induction kit because I think that under the bonnets, when you have an induction kit on one of them, they look ugly. And to be honest, a standard airbox with a scorpion on, it actually does look really good. So basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a pipe across panel filler, and it'll just look, it'll look standard. But I'll have a bit a bit of a panel fill in. It might make it run that a little bit better as well. I'm not sure. It might obviously draw more air in and stuff like that. And basically the car is set up for that air box. So I don't want to take it off uh, just for the tsh noise. I could just go go out and buy um, a blower valve. So, you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not just going to go out there waste money on an induction kit for no reason whatsoever. Um, exhaust will come in time, to be fair. I drove one today and they are really, really grumbly. They do sound awesome, standard. I'm not gonna lie, they do sound awesome. Um, but I just want to say the reason I've not been uploading is because obviously I've been in between of like switching the car and whatnot. Um, I've not I've not bought any mods for the car just because of I've been thinking of selling it. I've stripped off the bits for the Corsa. I have got a splitter for sale. I've got an induction kit for sale. Um, I'm not too sure about the sub yet. I might actually have the sub for sale, so if any of you guys are interested, please let me know down in the comments. And I think I'm going to have some Bowler B ones for sale as well. Because they only they will only fit on the Abarth with wobble bolts. Now, if you guys know anything about wobble bolts, please let me know down in the comments. I'm not too sure on them. Um, but yeah, I'm buying an Abarth. What can I say? What can I say? Um, but the, I'm really sorry for not uploading any videos. Like I've I've gained a load of subs. Like I'll, let me go on my YouTube now. I've gained a load of subs, so I'm really really thankful for the new subscribers. Uh, to be honest, I've I've gained more subs from not uploading because I've just let the videos settle in. You know what I mean? Right. So if I show you this, we are on 299 subscribers. So one off 300. So again, thank you for the support. Thank you for all the all the views. Thank you for all the likes, the comments, and everything, guys. Honestly, it really doesn't mean the world to me. But I'm back on the YouTube grind now. Um, I will have a video out on Monday or Tuesday with obviously the newer bath, and then 
we will have a video fitting these badges and obviously the seatbelt covers and I might order something else as well. I have took my private plate off and that's on retention. Uh, the plate's on retention and obviously I'll, I'll make a video of uh, putting those on the bath as well. Um, again, I, I want to say a massive thank you to my mum and dad. Like, obviously you only have one mum and dad, you know what I mean? And they've helped me out endlessly. Like, if I ever need anything, my mum and dad are always there to help me out. Like, fair enough, they didn't really want me to sell the course because I, like, I'd spent so much money on it. And they loved it, you know what I mean? I loved it. I still do love it. I'm going to miss it. But then again, I'm on to a new chapter. I'm on to the Abarth. So, mum and dad, I know you'll watch this because you you always do. You know what I mean? So, uh, I love you and I'm honestly so thankful for what you do for me. And I'm just in such a blessed place at the moment. Like, to have parents like that who support your decision, will lend you any money if you need it. Uh, just look after you in general, of course, my mum and dad are just the best, so thank you mum and dad. And of course, my brother is definitely going to be helping me mod this car, it's going to be insane. Like, the windows are not tinted as well, so, uh, Simon Image Window Tinting, you know what to do! But guys, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to close the video off here because I'm just rambling on, as usual, you know what I mean? Uh, so, uh, yeah, bye in a path! Get in! But well, thank you so much for watching, guys. It does mean the world to me. Stay tuned for Monday or Tuesday. I will have the Abarth video out. It's going to be insane, man. I'm, gonna, I'm so going to enjoy this car. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Young when a young sinner, peace when I'm done in a head spin, I cash spin a brother, I'm the bread when I bread, but I run to the UMP, the soul son, the Johnny Glover, weapon of an end, so they never bubble, whoa. My life, I'm keeping it all on the